Hey guys, welcome to Natural Aesthetics. Just a compilation of training footage from the last couple of weeks here. Um, nothing in particular. Uh, I have grouped the upper body exercises to the start of the video, followed by lower body halfway through, and then upper body again to finish. Exercises are in no real particular order, uh, but just gives you an insight into some of my training at the moment um, and the exercise and rep schemes that I'm doing. I thought I'd use this opportunity to talk about um, the mentality required to diet. Um, and I'm not talking about losing a few pounds after a holiday. I'm talking about dieting to extreme levels of body fat. If you've perhaps got a competition or uh, some photos that you want taken, or even you just, you just want that extreme look when you go on holiday, you want to be a cut above uh, the guys that are just in shape. And there is a big, big, big difference between the two. There's a completely different mentality required, and I'm going to go over that now. The first thing that can help you on your journey is knowledge. You must take the time to understand calories, carbohydrates, proteins and fats and how they can affect the body both short term and long term. The relationship between these and how you can manipulate these to achieve your desired body fat percentage. You can either hire a coach to do this for you, someone who's been there and done it and got to that extreme body fat, or you can simply take the time to learn how to do this yourself but you must have knowledge on the subject you must have uh, uh, an understanding if you don't then you simply rely on guesswork um, and ultimately it's going to screw you over in the long run secondly and this is a very important point um, sacrifice I think at the very very start of the diet you need to understand and almost surrender yourself the fact that at some point during this journey you're going to have to sacrifice certain elements of your lifestyle. The leaner you want to get, the more you're going to have to sacrifice. Remember I said this wasn't uh, you know, a few pounds off um, after a holiday or, or, or a break from your diet. This is an extreme body composition change and extreme changes to your physique require extreme sacrifices. It's as simple as that. However, you can negate some of these sacrifices and make your life a little bit easier by choosing to diet in a certain way. Which brings us on to the next point, and that's the length of diet, which is a massive factor in determining your success, I think. So let's say if you're dieting um, over six to eight weeks and you have around 10 kilos to lose, straight in on the first day of the diet, you're in a large calorie deficit. There's no way you can lose that amount of, amount of weight in that period of time without being in a considerable calorie deficit. So therefore, you're going to be feeling um, weak and uh, have low energy straight away. Um, mental clarity is going to drop. Day-to-day -day tasks are going to become difficult and you're going to be feeling hungry um, straight away, let alone your energy in the gym um, and your ability to keep hold of muscle mass. However, if you're dieting over a longer period of time, and as a natural, I would suggest at least 20, uh, 20 weeks, if not six months, you give yourself more room, you give yourself more leeway. Almost more time to take it a little bit easier. Less stress, because with six to eight weeks, you know, you can't afford one slip up. You can't afford to have any of your meals um, off point. Whereas when you're dieting for a longer period of time, you can have more leeway in terms of your calorie uh, structure. You can go out and have you know, a meal with a family. Um, you can have certain treats, as long as it fits into that kind of calorie framework. Um, you can enjoy yourself more. Ultimately, there's less stress when you diet for a longer period of time. It's less of a rush. You have more time to play with. Um, and I think that's crucial in determining someone's success in getting very, very lean and someone who gets uh, just in shape. Stress is a killer. When you start panicking that you're not perhaps losing weight as fast as you want to or you can't prep the food that you want to to stay on this diet, then it's game over. You need to approach the diet with a certain amount of flexibility um, and calm. You need to stay calm and accept that you're not going to be perfect all of the time. You can't possibly have every single meal, every single bite that's going to be perfect and fit in your calories and your grams of macronutrients perfectly. Accept this and the journey will be easier and you'll be able to um, continue for longer and ultimately get leaner. Now it's your own choice. No one is forcing you to diet. You want to get lean um, and you're going to enjoy the feeling when you get there. You're going to enjoy that look. So you might as well enjoy the journey to get there. Um, 
you know, there are going to be days that are going to be difficult, but try it and stay positive and understand that it's just an enjoyable process. At the end of the day, tomorrow you can quit if you really want to, you know. Um, and I think once you understand that, things perhaps get a little bit easier. You need to consistently evaluate yourself, um, not only to obviously see whether the diet is doing uh, what you want it to do, whether your body is heading in the right direction, but also to enhance and help motivation. Um, because when you see yourself moving in the right direction, when you see yourself getting leaner on a week-to-week -week basis, um, it spurs you on, it pushes you on to achieve more and more and more, and ultimately to stay on the diet for longer. When you know exactly how your body is changing because of the hard work you're doing, then you're more inclined to um, enjoy the process and stick on it for longer. When the going gets tough and you're really questioning yourself as to why you're doing this to your body, um, just remember that it's your choice and try and compare it to other people's hardships that they're perhaps going through. And really, you're just dieting, it's not that much of a big deal. Um, it's easy compared to some of the problems other people are going through. And I think when you think about that, it puts it into perspective. Um, stop feeling sorry for yourself and just get on with it. Meal preparation is important for providing you with the right meals um, to fit into a calorie framework uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. Making sure that you have those meals um, ready for you when you don't have much time. Um, so try and do as much of that in advance as possible. When you have a couple of hours spare, if you do, then get some meal prep done. Um, you need to learn how to cook foods that you enjoy. There's no point dieting for six months on foods that you don't like. It's not going to happen. Um, your life is going to be hell. You need to have foods that you look forward to, and even if you don't enjoy all of it, there's an element of that meal that you perhaps enjoy, You know, whether it's chicken and rice with a sauce that you like, um, or perhaps some sweet potato chips instead of the rice. That's the beauty of uh, flexible dieting. Being flexible with your food choices to make sure that you can diet for longer because the food you're eating is enjoyable. That's key. So yeah, when you've got time, prep the food um, in advance and that helps you out. Now occasionally on a, on a day perhaps where you don't have any time, you don't have any food ready, um, you're gonna get days like that where, busy is, where, where work is so busy um, and you know, if, if you took any time out of that day to prep food, it would just come from your sleep time. You know, you're down to five hours of sleep already. Taking an hour of sleep from that is going to affect your performance um, in a negative way, more so than if you're not prepping food. So, on a day like that, make your life easier. You know, buy a decent ready meal or go to a restaurant and have a, a sensible meal, still trying your best to fit it into that framework of calories and macros. You know, you can buy some, perhaps some pre-cooked uh, meats or some pre-packaged carbohydrates that are just easy to cook um, quickly, like some microwave or rice, uh, pre-cooked chicken breast, stuff like that. You know, I'm not recommending to do it on a day-to-day -day basis, but when you need it, use it. Make your life easier, um, and therefore the diet will be more maintainable for longer. That's it, guys. We are done. Um, hope you found that informative. Thanks for your continued support. Stay tuned for more. Stay strong.